Welcome back to this guy's scratch. Today we're talking about my time as an auto body painter at Mako Auto Body and Paint Works. For you DIYers out there, stick around to the end. I will fill you in on some of the best practices that I still have incorporated into my routine today. And if you're a prospective client, I have some useful tips for you too. I still have a copy of the training video that they gave me. So let's watch a few seconds of this training video and we'll talk about all this coming up. Time to make the donuts. Time to make the donuts. Time to make the donuts. The donuts. <laughs> donuts aren't enough. Five times. Of course, it seems rather weary. He has a very taxing occupation. He's on call day and night. He hardly gets any sleep. Good gracious. And his work demands absolute consistency. What do you do? But is he a brain surgeon? <laughs> say about my time at Mako Auto Body and Paint Works? I can tell you this. In the six months that I worked there, I got five years painting experience by, by any normal stretch of the imagination. They had a strict one car per hour policy. They wanted one car painted every hour of every day while you were on shift. And I tell you, it was, it, it felt like time to make the donuts. And that's the that's the best analogy I can give for being a painter at Mako Auto Body and Paint Works. So the responsibilities you had were quality control. You had to mix all your own paint, which was a good thing. More on that coming up. You had to clean the car. So as far as paint booths go, the Mako that I worked at was the best paint booth I ever sprayed in, bar none. It was a positive pressure drive-through paint booth that had a bake oven on the other side. It was a complete infrared bake oven that was completely and separately from your paint booth. The bad part about that was you weren't allowed to start the car up to move it across, so you had to push everything through. That wasn't so bad until I had to paint a Brinks truck. Man, them things are heavy. The worst part about being a painter at Mako is the prices are cut to the bone. On average, they give you two quarts of paint. They give you a formula for two quarts of paint. I had a workaround for that. Every complete I ever did before I worked at Mako, I had a gallon of paint to work with. A shock to the system having two quarts of paint to work with. Now for you DIYers, I still use this, use this today. They, on every complete, they sealed everything. So it was a, a one part sealer. You sprayed the whole car, it was a uniform color. And two quarts of paint is almost enough, but not quite. Not to get the finish that I want to lay out. How I got around that, they give me a they they give you the paint formula. They they wouldn't let you have access to the computer. They would print you out a formula, and it had exactly how much paint they wanted you to use. The paint scales had evolved that much by that time because everything was on microfish before that. So the microfish give you a formula for one point, one quart, and one gallon. So if you if you needed more or less, you ha that was built into the scale. So the, you could go a quarter of the formula, you could go half of the formula, you could just go standard measurement, you could mix half as much more, or twice as much more. That was, that was built into the scale. They didn't know I knew that. Most of the time when I was mixing, I was mixing at 1.5, so I would mix half as much more paint as they give me a formula for. That was the, that was the secret to my success <laughs> for my time at Mako, I can tell you that much. One of the more memorable jobs was, at the time, it was a Chrysler LeBaron convertible. It was lipstick red. They gave me a quart and a half of paint to paint this car. And they tell me, it don't have a roof. Just double, I doubled the formula. I made three quarts. And they're looking at the car after it came out of the bake oven and they're shaking their heads like, how did, how did I lay? Because it was enamel paint that was put on it. So that's the other thing. So as far as places to go to get your car painted, if you don't know somebody in the backyard that will that will paint a complete, because most body shops they're no they have no interest in painting completes. And this is what makes Mako a great service is because you have no other place to go. They offer the good, better, best. So your good paint straight up enamel. Your better paint 
is your thing. If you were gonna get get your car painted at Mako, spend the extra money to get the urethane. And they have their premium services, which is base clear. Being the painter at Mako, I was in, in charge of the quality control. And I, for the six months I was there, I can only remember ever sending two cars back to the body shop because the work wasn't up to par. When you're considering eight cars a day being painted, the, the body men there are tal talented. They have, they have craftsmen there. Of my six months there, the premium paint service I did, I did five jobs. They were, they were all insurance work. The insurance work, it's iCar certified. For the premium paint service, if you're getting premium paint service, you're getting the same standard that you would expect to get at any body shop, any collision center. In my experience, I, I never had any issues with the work I seen getting done. So for you DIYers out there, the takeaway from Mako is seal everything. You can buy a little less paint, you can save a little you can save a, a lot of money and you can actually if you're doing work for somebody else you, you can make a buck there's places to save money if you're doing base clearer work gram code everything so use your value shade system use the value shade system you'll use much less paint the work will get done the first time the right way now for the prospective clients out there questions you might want to ask how much paint are you putting on my vehicle can I buy extra paint? I I would like three coats of paint, be, or four, because they may they may include the sealer as a coat of paint. It's but it's a ground coat, so the sealer goes on before the paint makes everything a uniform color. It gives you a uniform surface to paint over. So I introduced this topic in a previous video, and Chuck from Panzer Platform, he has his own channel, made a great point. If you're fussy about your vehicle, make sure you you tell them what you want and the way you expect it to turn out. Because the prices are cut to the bone, you're only going to get what you pay for. So, I guess my takeaway from my time at Mako is, the thing that makes them great is because they, they do provide an affordable service for a lot of people. But because when people see that enamel paint job, and it may not have the finish people are expecting to see, because base coat, clear coat... And, and to be honest with you, base coat, clear coat finish last. Something's got to be pretty special to get a coat of paint these days. So if you're if you're spending six or seven hundred dollars on an enamel paint job, find out what it costs to go go one step up. You'll be happy you spent the money to go to the mid grade. Urethane paint delivers an outstanding finish, and it lasts. And if you can afford it, you ain't gonna go wrong with the base coat, clear coat. I and as far as what they use for paint. They use Sherman Williams paint. It was Western was the enamel paint that they used. I liked it. I, I was used to it. I, I I I sprayed plenty of Western paint before I went to Mako. But an enamel finish isn't the same as an acrylic enamel finish. An acrylic enamel finish is not the same as a urethane finish, and a urethane finish is not the same as a base coat clear coat finish. Their Achilles heel is you get what you pay for. But most people are expecting this. They want chip foos work. At Mako prices, you know they expect the the polished cut chip foos paint job for that three ninety nine, four ninety nine, five ninety nine. I I don't know how much a paint job costs at Mako these days. If you know, let me know in the comment section down below. So once you set a lot of budget, I always ask to see a car that was painted that rep, that closely represents what you want. Not pictures. Expect. You want to lay eyes on an actual car that was just painted. So that's my takeaway from my time at Mako Auto Body and Paintworks. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That never hurts. You can watch another video around here somewhere, and you can hit that subscribe button right there. That's the best way to help our channel out and help us grow, help us expand. We want to take over the world. Let Sherman Williams paint the world. All right, this guy. Time to make the donuts.